What's up dudes and dudettes, my name's Scythe and this is a video response to the video that I made a couple weeks ago about getting to 20,000 subscribers thanks to all your help and then asking you all for questions. This is the video responding to those questions. Samantha is a Halloween exclusive craftable ally in Trove. You need to have candy corn, which is an item that drops from enemies during an Halloween event, or you can get it from autumn pinatas. Once you have enough, then you can go to the hub, you go over to the Halloween crafting table type thing, craft yourself some chests that will RNG the ally as well as a bunch of our Halloween stuff. I randomly came across Trove in a humble bundle deal that had it as well as a couple other voxel games. I didn't really have any idea what it was other than, hey, this looks like Cube World, did my first look video, hey, this plays kind of like Cube World, and, well, the rest is kind of history, right? Yes, I love anime. I watched Dragon Ball Z like 15 bazillion times now because the series kept rebooting so that they could catch up with the dubs. Never really watched the Boo Saga or anything like that, though, only the beginning of it. Also, Death Note? Gungrave, Evangelion, Ranma One Half, and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. GG, I guess. Hey, dude! And yes, I already play tons of other games besides Terraria and Trove, and they're all already on the channel. Nope, only the clone of myself that I keep in the basement. I don't know, like 40 or something. The fire graphics in Trove really remind me of Wind Waker, so they kind of strike right here. Also, he's a dragon. Don't hate blonde, my good sir. The devs actually modded an old crafting table from Alpha into the Dragon Crucible. So I bought it from someone who bought it from an Alpha player. Probably the hour-long Monday Multiplayer Midnight Madness montage montage. That video took me and Johnny weeks and weeks of watching through every single one of our Monday videos, like pretty much like a whole year of videos, and picking and choosing individual scenes from each video that made it into the highlight reel. Check the description for an answer to this question. I have a very powerful computer, so that's probably why. I get this question all the time. I don't see any reason why the Trove series would end anytime soon, if ever. The good thing about Trove being as popular a series as it is for me, while also being an infinitum game, that is to say a game that doesn't have an ending. Take for example, way way back when we did the Mario 64 series, which is still one of our most popular yet, and the fact that that game ends, so we kind of had to stop the series, otherwise we were just going to be replaying levels over and over. Which I guess essentially is what I'm doing with Trove anyways, because I'm just doing the same thing every day, right? In Canada, it's always winter, so summer's my favorite. I am the Tokyo Ghoul. Who doesn't like dojos? I will probably stream or record and then upload some type of scary game that I'll play and pretend I'm scared while playing it. Yes, I've played Gmod, it's not on the channel and probably won't be. Yes! We've actually been waiting to do the Yoshi's Woolly World series for a very, very long time, because for some very strange reason, Nintendo decided to have a completely separate release date from the European and North American release. Legit, Yoshi's Woolly World has been out in Europe and Australia and stuff for months now and it's only going to just release this October for us. No, I don't have the same amount of time to put into editing as I did at the time that we were recording the Mario Party 10 videos. No specific reason. I just enjoy Japanese culture as a whole and find the building style to be absolutely awesome. Unfortunately, I am actually going to be cutting Splatoon from the channel. I know that lots of people are still enjoying the series, and I had a lot of fun recording the last episode, so I kind of wanted to end it on a high note. It's not that I don't like the game, but I don't like being forced to play with Nintendo's stupid touchpad. There's something about that controller that I just personally cannot stand. It's the same as when I did my Toad's Treasure Trove series, another fantastic game almost if not completely ruined by the craptacular controller. So GG Nintendo, your new console is not going to save you, even if you did push Zelda U for its release. 
Funny you should ask. Skulix, the modder who originally made the Mario 64 co-op stuff, has actually recently posted that he is going to be putting out a Star Road update. So we're planning to play that whenever it comes out. At this point, I think I've kind of got the hang of Terraria. Whenever I'm recording and I ask a question, afterwards, off camera, I'll usually look at the wiki right then. I've also stocked up quite a bit of Terraria footage, so my own personal knowledge is a few steps ahead of what actually shows up in the series. It's actually pretty easy to max out all your classes in Trove. You just gotta stick to the highest portal that you can handle with it not taking a boringly long time to kill the enemies. Also, make sure that you kill large groups of enemies. Don't go out of your way for one single enemy on its own, but killing groups of enemies does benefit you when you're trying to level up, as well as the dungeon experience for killing the boss. If you just keep grinding that out for like 24 hours, you'll be good, man. Heck no, dude. There's been a few rare cases on Razor Comms where I will mute one particular person for the group. Most of the time that is just because they are not talking, but their mic is still going like and stuff like that. So it's kind of like muting them so that it's not annoying for everybody. Otherwise, I know 100% that my audience is kids. That's what I'm placating my videos for. Talk is cheap. Act. Honestly, I've never asked myself that. We both know that we'll be together someday, so the amount of time that it takes to get to that point is kind of irrelevant. And we're pretty much texting or video chatting every day, so it's not that bad. Of course, there's going to be times where it is hard. A long distance relationship is definitely not going to be easy, especially because you never know when is the actual time that you're going to be together. Personally, I've always trusted that if the love is strong enough and if it's meant to be relationship, it's gonna happen either way. Thanks for your time, ladies and gentlemen. That's all the time we have for today with this Q&A. Sorry if I ended up missing some of your questions, but you gotta understand that I cannot get them all. This was fun. Let's do it again sometime. Probably in like five months or so. Honestly, I don't know when we'll have enough time to do another Q&A, but I hope that you enjoyed it regardless, and I hope you have a fantastic day, ladies and gentlemen. Sayonara and stay epic.